Hey guys, Mighty57S here. Um, yeah. Now, I did promise some more videos, and well, here is one of them for this year. And a special occasion, because it is 2015. And, of course, the 70th anniversary of Thomas the Tank Engine. And, of course, the 100th birthday of said character. Yep. Now, I decided it would be a good idea. And... And I would have, and normally I wouldn't know what day I would do this. Well, most of the time I'm free, but thank God I'm getting off my lazy ass. <laughs> and I'm showing you, of course, my collection of the famous blue tank engine. And yes, and it's why is it Thomas? You may ask. Well, basically, it's because, you know, um, he's mostly the one I have, and even as a kid, you know, he was my favorite character. And even to this day, I still like him. <laughs> I mean, plus it's a good occasion to do it, too, since he is, well, 100 years old now, considering the fact that the engine he's based off of, the London, Billington, and South Coast Railway E2, is also, in fact, 100 years old. That was... I heard he was built in 1915. Now, all right, enough of that. So, yes, basically, over, you know, the years, these are the collection of the different models of Thomas the Tank Engine that I actually have in my possession. So, we're going to go through it right now, like I did with that Woody collection that I've done. Yeah, and I'm glad I did that, because it showed the collection I had of him. And so now, we're doing one on Thomas. Alright, so, yeah, I'll show you each and every model that I have in my collection. First off is this little wax Thomas. I found it at, you know, my local beach. Yeah, like, I was on the beach one time, and... My mom, you know, she found this and showed me the little Thomas. I think it was in 2008, maybe? I don't know, but yes. Like, she found this, like, wax of Thomas. I don't know what it is. Maybe it was, like, some ornament, because now that I think about it, this would sound like the sort of thing that, you know, would, in fact, probably go on a birthday cake, if you know what I mean. I mean, just think about it. Like, if any of you have, you know, a Thomas like this... Like, please let me know exactly. I mean, I think this is what, you know, Carvel, you know, does for their cakes. Because I do remember seeing a Thomas, believe it or not, yeah. And, and he doesn't really have the number ones on him. His eyes scratched. There's also steam, but it's also scratched too. Alright, and another, believe it or not, is a Tommy Thomas. Yeah, let me look at the year. 1992, yeah. Yeah, this is a very old... Yeah, keep in mind, this is old. Now, note to self, I'm not the biggest Tomy collector, and I'm not really that much into it, though. But it's still a pretty amazing range. It's just, believe it or not, I do really dislike the way Trackmaster is making their products now. Eh, uh, yeah. I'm not really into any of that. I mean, it's only the old Thomas merchandising I'm in. It's a good thing, because I am into this uh, Bachman stuff. <laughs> we'll get to that later. I mean... Like, there's like a little, whoa, well, hubcap missing for some reason? Yeah, like the side rods are missing. It doesn't work, obviously, because it's been old. I think I may have gotten this. Uh, oh, just some um, other things. Yeah, his face is pretty scratched and all beat up. Keep in mind, I'm not selling these, really. No, these are going to be in storage. In fact, I risked a lot to get this out and just to, at least to show you guys. It's just for this video. Not, it's not for sale, and none of these items will ever be. Do I make myself clear? Yeah, I make myself pretty clear. Just, just saying. And these, you know, models really aren't that detailed. Well, in America it is. I mean, Japan does a better job with these anyway. I, and like I said, I think I got these models back in 1997. Yeah. This Thomas apparently came in that Tommy starter set thingy, whatever it is. And, um, oh yeah, and I think I also remember this too. Like, um, I also had a lot of Annie and Clarabelle models with it. Yep. It's true, I actually do. <sighs> yes. Mm. So, yeah, like, so those are down. Now we'll just... I'm gonna save the Bob and Thomas for last. It's my favorite out of them all. 
Of course, we got the little wooden Thomas. I'm not that much into wooden railway, but... That is still fine. Believe it or not, there were three Thomas models I had. Yeah, three models of Thomas, yes. Of the wooden railway. One, I think, was from... I guess it was 1997, maybe? I'm not sure. It's in storage, and I can't really get it. And don't even request me to, because... Like, seriously, like, I I'm not allowed to go up in the attic, and, you know, it it's just... And I'm just saying, you guys, okay? So, yeah. The the third one was actually for my sister, and who had her own Thomas model, and even her own Stepney model as well. Yeah, and now here's a Thomas model from the year 2000, yeah. Here's the name under it. And, yeah, there's not really that much detail, though. And here's the face. It's a really good classic looking face. No, and I'm not that much into Wooden Railway either. Just not with the newer products. I mean, Jay Louvier, you mean, if you watch his videos, he'll cover most of them up. Now, these products, of course, are from the land of the rising sun, Japan. Well, actually, I got them from the Philippines. And, um, yeah, I got these from the Philippines. Let me just take this little thing off my tripod here. Excuse me. There we go. There was this one, you know, little piece that, you know, would have been on the tripod if I had it. Um, okay. So, yes, this is the Bandai Plastic Thomas, which I've now known what the proper name for it is. Naka Yoshi. And these, and the range itself makes these products look very good. I mean, I love the way that this Thomas was actually made. Like, he looks so accurate to how he does in the show. And normally, from what I heard in these range, I've seen this one, you know, review, this unboxing review by Thomas Fan 64 Fan, I think is where, you know, he managed to get these models back in 2011, and it was pretty uh, amazing to watch. And yes, yeah, so he basically he got models like like I have right here. So yes, like here's a cool looking Thomas face. Something else that happens that these side rods, the camera's focusing on it. These side rods can actually come off, though. And here's what he looks like. Though, to be honest, I don't know why this wheel isn't bolted, like, no peg in the middle wheels of... Yeah, you know, whenever there's, like, an 060 or something like that, or engines with six wheels, like, for some reason, they're not pegs in. I don't know why. Um, yeah, everything, like, the brass looks amazing. Japan really does a good job. Like I said, I got these in the Philippines, you know, back... You know, on that vacation I had back in 2012. And it was wonderful. I got a few of these models. Not just Thomas, but I also got, of course, this little truck that came along with him. And a few other trucks as well. Because the other engines I got were Percy, James, Toby, Donald, Bill, and Trevor. Yeah, I think that was all of them. Because I remember I actually did, of course, do that, you know, vacation video thingy. Yeah. Looking back on it, I really got to think of a better title for that. Yeah, I don't want to sound, you know, like, uh, too autistic in all that jazz. Just saying. <laughs> um, so, yes. Um, I basically covered a lot of that. So, if you want to see that video, then you know where to find it. And so, yes. In this, I got from the Philippines. And it's just basically, Philippines, it actually, you know, like... A lot of, you know, like, items are, of course, are, like, shipped over from, I mean, from the U.S. and U.K. Because, remember, I also got a Take and Play Edward, if you watched said video. So, yes. The detail on this Thomas is amazing, and so are the Nakayoshi, other Nakayoshi engines. I mean, I'd like to collect these. Well, mostly the Scarlow engines, because I heard that they're very accurate when you compare them to the standard gauge Nakayoshis. This truck is amazing, too, I admit. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Thomas. <laughs> and, of course, this is the box it came in. Yeah, I decided to keep this one just to, you know, remember what it was like. Because even the box is rare for these engines. I mean, literally. Yeah, so we'll go through it quick. Here's Thomas, Edward, Percy, Bill, Ben, Trevor, George, Turntable, and Fergus. Yeah, I just wanted to cover that up. I know I have, so... Yeah, you can just go watch that video and you'll see. Next video, I, I mean, sorry, next model is this little wind-up Thomas here. It actually still works. I'm not going to run on the carpet, though, so.
Oh my god, is this going to stop? Uh, you know what, I'll just go on with it anyway. So, yes, this is a model that, if I can get the, yeah, it comes with a snowplow. Yep, and it's got the shocked expression of Thomas, and, like, yeah, that's actually, I, I don't know why, but I wish it could have came with a grumpy expression, because, I mean, it's coming with a snowplow, and, though, of course, we all usually know Thomas hates it, the snowplow, I gotta say, it looks pretty good. I admit, though, compared to what it looks like on my Bach and Thomas, uh... It wouldn't fit. Yeah, Bachman has their own snowplow, so I might buy that sometime. So, yeah. There's also a wind-up range in... Well, that's only in Japan, though. And... Oh, I can resist there. It's basically... It's that... You know... Like, the wind-up range basically is, you know, I think it's only in Japan, and they have most of the characters from what I heard, and that's pretty cool, if you ask me. I mean, like, I may be, you know, an HO or a double-O collector, but this, I mean, a lot of, you know, Japan's toys are cool, because Japan, let's face it, they have the coolest stuff. Like the Nakayoshi Thomas. The wind up range has stickers, and sorry to say, that kind of annoys me a bit, though. I mean, stickers. It's, I'm not saying it's bad, but it's kind of overwhelming, because, you know, you gotta get it on right. And, you know, if it falls in the wrong place, then, yeah. I'm just saying, you guys. Oh, and here's a little coupler here, and, uh, 2011. So, yeah. Oh, and here's, of course, the little pamphlet. Uh, yeah, so this is also by the Tommy range, and it has these other engines. And I'm not going to cover this again, but you could see, you know, my old review, if you could find it. And along with Thomas, I even got this little splatter model that I also had. Alright, and of course, the last model of them all is the Bachman, Thomas. Yep. Of course, this is why I saved the best for last. And this is because it's the model I usually use. I mean, of course, if you want to see a review on that, go right ahead. But yes, here it is. The good old Bachman Thomas. Yeah. I may get the Hornby Thomas if I ever did. Because, you know, it is, you know, great as, you know, for what our childhood hero is, you know, closely based to. So yeah, nonetheless, this model... Of course, is wonderful, and Bachman has outdone themselves, though it could have used a little more detail. Granted, I have heard that they're going to be remaking James this year. That's going to be impressive. But will I get him? Well, when my Bachman James dies out, yes. Um, alright. So, yes, basically, what else? So, yeah, I am, you know, finally glad I got to this. There were this other Thomas models I have. Another is these Christmas tree ornaments, but I can't get them. They're in storage. You know what? Maybe when that time comes, I will. But come on, guys. Don't get your hopes up. I'm not taking any requests here. That's the one thing I can never stand. So, yeah, I basically have one, two, three, four, five, six models of the little blue tank engine. Yep. And I'm so glad I do. Yep, so... I mean, especially, you know, doing this for the 70th anniversary of Thomas the Tank Engine, friends. Alright, so this is Mike D57S signing off, and I hope you enjoy this collection. So until then, goodbye.